the menu actions. From Android 11 onward, you can long press the power button on your device to show some shortcuts, which are usually used for home automation. With the new tasker, you can do whatever you want with them. For example, you could bring back the screenshot button to the power menu. Or you could bring back the lockdown button. Fingerprint unlocking disabled. And if you really want to, you can even control your lights with it from Tasker. You can also make them dynamic. You could create a tile that in the morning open Reddit, when you're away from home open Chrome, and at night, when you want to unwind, open your favorite game. You have a bunch of tile types to play around with to help you accomplish whatever you can imagine. Tasker commands. Time for another Auto Apps feature to make it into Tasker. If you're not aware, the Auto Apps command system allows you to create super dynamic and reusable profiles, and now you can use it directly in Tasker. The Power Menu actions are already using this system, as are several Auto Apps. For example, you could have a single profile that starts playing media in any app and can be triggered from Tasker, playing Pocket Casts. You know, a new version of Auto notification. Device, Playing Spotify. You know, they get... Or even remotely with Join. Playing YouTube music. If you give permission, any third party app can send commands to Tasker. So tell your favorite developers about it. Enjoy the new Tasker.